Hi everyone, welcome to Knowledge Center. Today in this session, we shall discuss about a series clipper. In my previous video, I have explained how to draw the transfer characteristics for a clipper circuit. I hope it is very clear for you. Right. So now let us move on for the another type of a clipper that is series clipper. So series clipper uh, to understand the concept and how to get an output using a series clipper, how to draw the transfer characteristics, to understand all these things, watch this video till the end. Okay. So now have a look over the simple series circuit which has been drawn here. I am going to explain with this simple circuit so that you can understand the concept of it. A, a diode is connected in, sub in series to the supply voltage. Then it is called as series circuit or a series clipper. Okay. So now let's see how this is going to operate. Now let us consider the input as sine waveform. So I'll consider this as the input. Assume this magnitude is 10 volt. And let me consider this magnitude as minus 10 volt. So here V in that is input supply is given to anode terminal of the diode and cathode is connected to the from the cathode I'm taking an output. Okay. And here let us consider this diode is of ideal. So let us assume that diode is an ideal diode. It does not have any losses in it. Okay. So when uh, we can say that you need to find again a condition at which diode will get turned on and off. So we can say that diode is on if input is greater than the cathode means if anode is having higher potential than the cathode now what is that uh, voltage we have at cathode i don't have any source here we are not given any supply here so the cathode terminal will have zero it is almost grounded over there so whenever this input is greater than zero because input is given to anode so whenever input is greater than zero then it is going to be turned on. It will be in a forward bias. So I can write that diode is on if V in is greater than or equal to 0. Now, if it reverse, if V in is less than 0, then diode is going to be off. So this is what you need to identify first. So after getting this condition, we can plot the output. So how to get the output now? We can easily say that what happens if diode is on? And you need to write that what happens if diode is off. So if diode is on, what would be the output? So just look into this. If diode is on, it is conducting. And it is current will be flowing like this. So we get output across this resistance R. So let me name this resistance as R. Okay. So we can say here, the output, V out, we can apply KVL and obtain the output equation. So let me write that KVL expression here. So let us write the KVL expression. So what you can say, minus to plus, so it is plus V in, this is anode to cathode or plus to minus, so minus the voltage across the diode is zero, because it is an ideal diode, so the voltage drop will be zero. Then resistance, let me consider again the voltage drop here, ideal conditions I am considering, so here also we can assume that plus to minus is minus, and voltage drop is also zero, generally it will be I into R, but I assume that there is ideal, so I will neglect it. So let me take this as 0 for ideal condition. Practically it won't be 0, right? Then, uh, or we get IR is equal to, let us not neglect it, let us not consider it as 0. Here what we are getting, the same we get it as an output. So let me write it as minus V out. And that's it, that's it, What that's the thing what we have here. So this you equate it to. 0. Therefore, we can write V in is equal to V out or we can say output voltage will be equal to input voltage if diode is on. Right. And if diode is off, if diode is off, this is open circuit, then output voltage will be equal to 0. So, this is what you need to plot it here. So, let me plot the output here. So, for positive of cycle 0, it is greater than 0. So, if it is greater than 0, diode is on and output is just similar to input. So it just follows input up to this. When input is less than 0, if input is less than 0, output will be 0. So it remains like this. Again it repeats for the next pulse and it will be like this. 
So this is what the output we get. Here just it is a negative clipper. It is clipping complete negative portion over there. So we can call it as a negative series clipper. Okay. So now let's see how to draw the transfer characteristics. Let's understand that. So to plot the transfer characteristic, as I already told you, transfer characteristic is nothing but it is a curve between, it's a graph between the output voltage and input voltage. So this is positive, this is negative, this is negative, V out. So we know that this is output and this is input. So output is following input only at the positive cycle. So this is positive cycle of input and this is positive cycle of output. So in this region, we get a slope because uh, transfer characteristics means we need to plot the slope. Slope is nothing but that is the ratio of change in output voltage by change in input voltage. So here it is similar. Whatever the change we have in input, the same change we have in the output. So that slope will be equal to 1 because same changes we have in both output and input. So we can write it means we have only at the positive side we have a output. So only in this positive region, this is input is positive, output is positive. In this region we get a slope and it's starting from 0. So from 0 itself we can draw a, we can draw a slope. Right. And what about the negative region? In the negative region, there is no change in output. Output is constant. So the ratio when you, when you take change in output is 0, the slope will be 0. So during negative means this is the negative region. This is negative V out, this is negative V in. So during this input negative, output is 0. So the slope will be 0. This will be the slope. So the slope is this during negative and this is the positive. That is how the transfer characteristics can be uh, represented for negative clipper. Okay. Now, uh, let us make one small change here. This is good for ideal diodes. What happens if there is a silicon or a germanium diode? So I'll just take the same example and with slight changes I will explain it. Say, instead of just taking it as an ideal condition, instead of taking it as an ideal diode, let me consider it as an silicon diode. If it is silicon diode, then the only change we get here is this diode will be replaced by its battery source that is 0 0.7 volt and this is positive this is negative because the anode is positive cathode is negative that is how it should uh, represent it right so now what would be the change so let's understand that so this is 0 0.7 if it is silicon and if it is germanium it will be 0 0.3 right so diode write a condition here so let us consider the same example input is this what is the output that is what you need to draw. We should draw the output waveform. We should also draw the transfer characteristics. Let's see what would be the change. Okay. So diode is on if input is greater than 0. Again because here I don't have any source here. So cathode is 0. But now we don't have cathode as 0 here. We have 0 0.7 here. Because it is silicon diode. And then we have a new voltage as 0 0.7. So diode will conduct only if the input is more than 0 0.7 because we have anode here and this should be greater. So I should have more than 0 0.7. So the condition will be like this. Diode will conduct if it is greater than 0 0.7 volt. It is greater than 0 0.7 volt. Once it becomes more than 0 0.7 volt, then we can get an output. So what is that output? Let me write it here. So the output for this condition will be V out. So I can write a KVL. Let me write a KVL for this. So uh, I, will I will replace this diode with the source here. Because we had a silicon diode. So we can redraw it like this. So this is the uh, equivalent circuit of it. Plus, minus, plus, minus. This is plus, minus. Okay. So here the diode and understand this is what I have replaced here. The diode has been replaced with this source. Anode should be positive, cathode should be negative. If I reverse it, this polarity will also reverse. Okay. Then now write a KVL for this. Apply KVL minus 2 plus plus V in plus 2 minus minus 0 0.7 ohm because this is silicon. 0 0.7. If it is germanium, it is 0 0.3. Right. Then plus 2 minus 
minus V out is equal to 0. Therefore, output voltage will be equal to, I will just take this out towards there. So, V in minus 0 0.7 volt. This is the output voltage if diode is on. If diode is on. If diode is off, when diode is going to off? If diode is less than 0 0.7. If it is less than 0 0.7 volt, diode will be off. If diode is off, this is open. So, no current, no output. Output will be 0. Only this has to be represented here. Now, let's see the output. What would be the change? So now, I will keep this output as it is. Let me draw the output for this condition here. We get, uh, first of all, what you need to do is, you should identify that 0 0.7 because that is the change or point. So, here let me take, let me mark this as 0 0.7. So, somewhere here, we get 0 0.7 volt. Okay. Or else I will just redraw the input and I will show you. Let me erase this. <coughs> Let me plot it clearly. Say this is the input. This is the input. Okay. Now we need to plot the output. This magnitude is of 10 volt and this is minus 10 volt. Now somewhere here we get 0 0.7. Say this is 0 0.7 volt. So, up to 0 0.7 diode is not conducting. So, diode will be in off condition. So, just have a projection of this point 0 0.7. Here also we have 0 0.7. So, project it downwards. And I will plot output here. Let me plot the output here. Okay. So, 0 to 0 0.7. When I give the input and it varies from 0 to 0 0.7. Diode whether it is conducting? No. Because diode conducts only after 0 0.7. So, we can say output will be 0 up to 0 0.7. This is how we can plot. Up to 0 0.7, it is 0. Now, after that, if it is greater than 0 0.7 or equal to 0 0.7, the output will be this. What is output now? V out is equal to V in minus 0 0.7. So, what is input? 10 volt. So, 10 minus 0 0.7, 9.3 volt. So, we should plot from here, from this point, we have to represent 9.3 volt. So, it is just following the input but less than exactly not V in because we have a minus 0 0.7. So, just this picture has to be represented here. Up to this. Now, this magnitude is going to be 9.3 not 10. We lost that 0 0.7 because it is silicon. Right. And then, when it comes at this point, See, when it comes at this point and this is the zero point. See, there is a difference here. This is zero, this is 0 0.7. So, from 0 0.7, if it is less than 0 0.7, again output is zero. So, it is going to be zero. So, we got this as the picture. That is the slight difference between the di ideal and the practical diode. If it was ideal, complete positive cycle would have been obtained here. Because of the practical, we got that loss here. 0 0.7, 0 0.7, it is off. Right. If it is uh, German M, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, right? Uh, that is the point. And magnitude would be 10 minus 0 0.3, that is 9.7. That is the difference. So now what happens with the negative cycle? When we give the negative cycle, it's a positive. That will not conduct. So it will be off. How long? It will be in an off condition until and unless it get another 0 0.7, not 0. So up to this, it will be off. So once again, you get this same picture like this. Okay? This is what the difference between the ideal and the practical diode output. So, now uh, I hope it is very clear. I hope this is clear. Now, let me tell you what is the positive clipper. So, this is about the negative clipper. It is clipping the negative portion of an input. So, it is a negative clipper. If you want to get a positive clipper, only one small change. Just reverse this diode. Means, if you apply the uh, diode like this. And you analyze it. Uh, I am not going to... I uh, explain this because I just want to make you to work on it. Minus plus. Now what happens? Diode will conduct during negative cycle but it won't conduct during positive cycle. So positive voltage will be clipped, negative voltage we get as an output. That is about positive clipper. I hope it is clear about the series clipper and a positive clipper, how to analyze it. Okay. And let me tell you one more thing. Let us draw the transfer characteristics of this. Okay.
that is one the only thing we left out so let me tell you how to draw the transfer characteristics of this part if it is a series clipper let me tell you the easiest way say take this v in and this is minus v in v out and minus v out okay we have output at the positive side not at the negative side so at the negative side there is no change in the output so if there is no change there is constant means the slope will be zero okay so it's very sure that the slope is going to be zero in the negative side right but from where we are going to start it are you going to start it at this zero no because our output is not obtained at zero we are getting this output at 0 0.7 volt so you should highlight that point first so this is zero so somewhere at positive 0 0.7 this is positive 0 0.7 right so somewhere here we will have a say this is 0 0.7 so this is what we have 0 0.7 here so first note down that point 0 0.7 volt this is the 0 0.7 so after 0 0.7 before that 0 0.7 what we have divide is off if divide is off no output so we get no change in this slope will be zero once you cross 0 0.7 it is just following the input but not exactly because input is 10 but the output is 9.3 if it was same variation then you could have got one straight line like this the slope would be 1 but now slope is not 1 because slope is output change in output by change in input right so output and input are not having the same change if input is changed to 10 output is changed to 9.3 so there is a difference so slope will not be 1 that is the point you need to understand so you will get a slope but not a straight one line straight line it will be slightly less than that so somewhere you can just represent it like this so this would be the transfer characteristics for this circuit okay so here one thing you need to understand from where we are getting output if you are getting from 0 you start it from 0 but I am getting it from 0 0.7 so you have to start it from 0 0.7 right and if it is both outputs are same input outputs are same then you could have got a straight slope inclined one but it is less than the input so slightly take it in this direction this is the transfer function or transfer characteristics for given circuit I hope you can you understood the concept of series clipper how to analyze it, how to understand it. So in next video, let me tell you one more concept about the series clipper. That is, what happens if I include a source in series to that? So if I include a source over there, there will be a difference. There will be a change in the output. So that we shall discuss in the next video. If this is clear, if this video is clear for you, just like it, comment on it and share among your friends. Thank you.